If you need to find out the latitude and longitude coordinates for a certain location, but it is between the grid lines, as you can see on your screen, how do you go about working out the coordinates for a place like that? I'm going to show you the method that works well for me, but in order to understand the content of this video, you need to already know the basics of latitude and longitude coordinates. So if you need to learn more about the basics, go to the description where you will find quite a few links to some of my videos, or you can click the link in the top right hand corner of your screen. So let's see how it's done. So there's our location, but it's always important to know where the equator is and where the Greenwich Meridian is when you look at a map. And we can see that the equator must be to the north of this map, or we are just going to call it a map. But so the equator is to the north, the Greenwich Meridian is to the east, because we can see the numbers increasing as we're going this direction. We can also see the numbers increasing as we go in that direction, which means that we are moving further away from the Greenwich Meridian. And if we go down, we're moving further away from the equator. So what are we going to do next? We need to find out what is between these two lines. So this is our location and we need to find out how big is this gap? So here we can see 33 degrees, 58 minutes and then 33 degrees 59 minutes latitude. So we're going to look at latitude first and what we know is that there's a minute between those two lines. In one minute there's 60 seconds. So you will need a ruler for this activity and you need to measure the distance between those two lines of latitude and we can see that it is exactly 30 millimeters. So now we already know there's 60 seconds within those 30 millimeters. So how are we going to work this out? It's very simple. We need to know how many seconds are there for each millimeter. And the calculation is very simple and it is 60 divided by 30. So it's the 60 seconds divided by 30 millimeters and it will give us two. So in other words, there's two seconds for each millimeter. Now that we know how many seconds for each millimeter, we can measure the distance. And remember, we are going from north to south because we know that the equator is in the north. And you can do it the other way around and then just subtract. But just to keep it simple, we are going to go from north to south. So we have 10, 20, 21, 22. And it looks to me like it's, let's say that it's halfway between 22 and 23. So it's 22.5. So what are we going to do? We are going to say 22.5 millimeters times 2. And the answer is 45. So now we know that the latitude is 33 degrees 58 minutes and 45 seconds south of the equator. Right now let's do longitude. So it's going to be the same. We have 22 degrees 28 minutes, 22 degrees 29 minutes. And once again, if you measure the distance between these two lines of longitude, you'll see that it's 30 millimeters. So now it's very simple. We're going to go from west to east and we will see that there's five, six, seven. It looks like it's exactly seven millimeters. So we're going to say seven times two and it's going to be 14 seconds. So it's 22 degrees, 28 minutes and 14 seconds east but these are easy numbers to work with and what if the distance between those grid lines are different and what if the numbers are not so easy to work with i'm going to show you a different example so we are still in roughly the same area so what are we going to do here let's measure so we are going from zero and we can see that it's 32 millimeters. So now the numbers are not so easy to work with, but this is where you should remember to just use the same formula every time. So what we need to know, first of all, is we have a one minute gap between these lines and we know that there's 60 seconds in one minute. So we're going to say 60 divided by 32. 
And the answer is 1.875. So now we know for every millimeter there's 1.875 seconds. And so if you measure, once again, now we will measure the distance from north to south. And it looks to me like it's 20 millimeters. Right, so if it's 20 millimeters, then we're going to say 20 times 1.875. And it will give you the answer. And the answer is 37.5. So the latitude we're on is 33 degrees, 58 minutes and 37.5 seconds. And then you can do the same for longitude. Let's just do that. Let's make it 24 millimeters. So 24 times 1.875 and it's 45. So the answer is 30 degrees, 28 minutes and 45 seconds. Now I understand that there are different maps with different scenarios, different scales and different distances. And so every example is going to be different. But I do think that if you use the principles and methods that I've shown in this video, that you'll be able to figure out the latitude and longitude coordinates. But thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, subscribe and comment. See you next time. Goodbye.